Democratic Party has finally finished its long-awaited probe of the deputy chairman of the DNC, Keith Ellison. Its law firm says the allegations against Ellison can't be substantiated because the accuser doesn't have videotape, so they're ignoring her word. That would be called victim shaming under other circumstances. Karen Housley is a state senator and Republican U.S. Senate candidate from Minnesota, and she joins us tonight. Karen, are you happy with this new standard that the DNC uh, has articulated? Uh, no, and thank you so much for having me, Tucker. It just shows the hypocrisy of the Democrat Party and the double standard that they do have. I'm running for the hashtag Me Too Al Franken seat for the U.S. Senate in Minnesota, and my opponent is still out there campaigning with them. And she says that Keith Alex Ellison categorically denies these allegations. Therefore, she believes them and she stands with them. Yet, when it's uh, Brett Kavanaugh or Republican, they want a full and complete investigation. So it just shows the hypocrisy. It's that, and the investigation that was done was done of Keith Ellison, who was the vice chair of the DNC party, right. done by the law firm of a Democrat of the Democrat Party in Minnesota. So it's like the fox watching the hen house. So it, it is Karen Monahan, the Keith Ellison's former girlfriend. She's out on Twitter again tonight, and I've retweeted it. She's, she's begging for somebody to listen to her, but the Democrats and the complete uh, hypocrisy that they are, that they are uh, aren't listening to her. So, uh, look, I have no idea if the allegations are correct or not. I, I really don't know, and I would withhold judgment because I think that's what fair people would do. But I'm surprised by the reaction. Have the press in Minnesota, the paper there in the Twin Cities, for example, been hounding Keith Ellison to explain what exactly this is about? No, absolutely not. It is dead silence among the media and the Democrats in Minnesota, yet all we hear about is Brett, Brett Kavanaugh and how we should have a full FBI in investigation. But the media is quiet, and my opponent, Tina Smith, Again, out there fully campaigning and supporting Keith Ellison, and nobody, nobody is bringing these accusations or calling for uh, an invest investigation. So I did. Today I called on the Attorney General of Minnesota to do a full investigation of Keith Ellison because the voters of Minnesota, they want to know before they go to the polls in November, who is Keith Ellison and, and is, has he really done these things to his girlfriend? But I, I mean, I can't keep up with what the rules are because they change so often, but quickly, aren't we supposed to believe the woman? I keep hearing that. You know, I, sexual harassment, abuse, domestic abuse, it is all wrong. And every accuser should be yeah. heard. Because, and, and against Keith Ellison, these are some really, really serious accusations. I know. But nobody is listening. Nobody is listening it's, to It's Karen only about Monahan. power. So I am. I'm, Karen, it's thank you. It's only about power. And it's, yeah, yeah, thank you, Tucker. I wish we had more time. Great to see you. Thank you very much.